G'day everyone. This is my 10 GAC DCs that you want to farm this conquest. Now the reason I'm calling them out now is you want to get these before the end of this conquest because for set 13 this is the last time you're going to be able to farm them through conquests. So this, this guide, this video is intended to help you give you some uh, measurable targets or some things to work on that will really help you succeed in GAC in both 5v5 and 3v3. The beauty of this Datacron set though is that most of it is actually on the level 3 and the level 6 is yes there's some very amazing powerful characters on the level 9. Yes they can always be a problem to get with RNG however you can still go really far with just some of these Datacrons that I've got here. Don't have to get all the 10 of them if that's not what you want to do but this will at least guide you and tell you what the best Datacrons are or well, the top 10 are and you can decide how you much you want to work towards getting them and hopefully this will help you please guys I am getting started here in YouTube so I am rather new please like and subscribe and make a comment down below tell me did you like this did it help you do you have any other ideas for Datacrons that we should be working on or other cool ideas that you've seen to Datacrons that you even experienced in the last 3v3 I'm sure myself and many others would love to hear it so please feel free to share also guys check out my discord and which also brings me to my next point my patreon I want to say thank you to everyone that supports me here on patreon you guys are awesome thank you so much for all that you do guys if you want to be um, getting information very very early on as I progress in GAC as my big brains progress in GAC you get stuck you want some help and from from really really good GAC players this is your opportunity to be part of my Patreon team uh, and where you'll be able to get access to the Big a big Brains team that often help me produce a lot of this content and help me give me a real strong edge in fighting in GAC at the top of the highest levels. So go check out the Patreon page there, the link's there, go check it out, it's also in the description and uh, you'll also be able to get a hotbot and a few other different various goodies there as part of the Patreon membership. Uh, but again, thank you so much for these awesome Patreon supporters. Now let's get cracking into the Datacrons and what we're going to be able to do with them. Alright guys, so... Uh, this again this focus is on GAC both 3v3 and 5v5 however we have obviously it coming up immediately 5v5 season 50 uh, so I'm gonna go over just some of the, the best data crons that you're gonna need the top 10 uh, and then I'm gonna go over some of the shopping list items just you know the things that you want to get just to fill out the rest of your data crons with all the match you might have all right the first one guys first one absolute first one it cannot <laughs> be understated how good this is but it is obviously reliant on you having her Bo-Katan Mandalore this Datacron is absolutely bonkers guys bonkers basically can just run right through a Lord Vader team Lord Vader on defense is, is, is a non <laughs> non issue now with her uh, you just run through it you don't even need to think about it basically a basic can can kill anyone with no protection uh, and she strips that protection on uh, on one random unit and now go have a read of it both good and bad on defense and offense uh, I mean certain teams is not gonna work as well you're gonna have some really good counters to it of course but it's not it doesn't have so many it doesn't have heaps of counters so if you have Bo-Katan Mandalore and she came up several times uh, as the, the event so you, you know you've had opportunities to get her more than any other legendary kind of character uh, so if you were able to get her, this is what you need to get. You need this Datacron. Now, recommendation on this one is level 3, prod up. Level 6, stacking, offense. And then obviously level 9, being Bo-Katan, Mandalore. The stats, tenacity is nice. Crit damage is also nice. Deflection is also nice. But tenacity is probably the biggest, biggest benefit. Uh, the big, biggest winner here for that is the tenacity because of... A lot of the teams will try and do a bit of the block on her, like JML and a few other different teams like that. And so if you can make that a little bit harder, you could also put deflection on there, a little bit harder. Crit damage, crit damage is good, helps the rest of the team, but Bo-Katan does true damage, and Bam, who typically is going to be on this team, also does true damage with his Whistling Bird. So they don't benefit from crits. So crit damage, 
kind of good for the rest of the team, but not so much for Bo and, and Bam, who are your main damage dealers. So tenacity, deflection are the, the big clear winners. You could you could say a bit of potency as well, uh, but it's really not that not big of a deal. Uh, this team just just so powerful. Tenacity is just really good to stop the dots, stop the um, billy blocks, a whole bunch of different things, and a whole bunch of reasons why you would want to get that um, for days, a whole bunch of things like that. So guys, get that. Don't worry too much about the stats. If you have the reroll mats. Again, if you have a, you've hit a lot of these other targets, you've just got them there, then go do it. That is always going to be my argument. The stats are secondary to getting the level 3, the level 6, and the level 9. So what I mean by that is always focus on getting a lot of these ticket items here that I've, I'm putting out in the top 10, and then worry about trying to re-roll, come back for the stats. Save your re-roll mats for the level 3s, level 6s, and level 9s. All right, guys, uh, moving on. Let's go over to DTMG. DTMG. Another amazing Datacron for this. Uh, he hits really hard. Well, the whole team hits really hard. But you need the right kind of Datacron. And uh, there's a few ways to... Or there's probably about two ways you can have the Datacron uh, for, for DTMG. But the prevalent one that does the best work, in our opinion, uh, myself and the Big Brain team, is that down on level 3, level 6, 400% offense, and you want to work on resistance. Now, the reason you want to work on resistance as a stat is that the resistance converts to defense, which converts to offense on the level 6. So, guys, look at trying to stack resistance on there. Again, if you can't get it, don't worry about it too much. Crit damage, deflection, tenacity, a few of those other stats are really nice. Again, it's level 3, level 6, and of course, the level 9. So get that one, guys. Two two big ticket items. Another really good one is the Sharut one. Now, Sharut has probably had various varying degrees of success and usefulness uh, over a while now, and this this makes uh, sense, I guess. That <laughs> Sharut, after beating a whole heap of stormtroopers in his movie <laughs> in Rogue One, that. We can see the punishment that the stormtroopers went through with his stick, and uh, you want this Kron. If you got Shirut, even if you got him at Relic 5, which uh, I would hope you would do for the sake of this data Kron, I definitely encourage it. He's still going to hit hard. Give a bit of offense on him, make him pretty fast, give him, um, give him a bit of yeah, give him a bit of power, and put him with Saw and stuff like that. There's a quite a few different comps. He was wrecking things in 3v3. He was a menace in 3v3 recently. I suspect going into season 50 uh, or 5v5, we're going to see some pretty big usage here as well. So definitely, guys, go get the Shirut Kron. Work on that Kron. Get it. Now, the level 3 and level 6 here are, are, are quite important, but not a complete deal breaker. I would say... Definitely re-roll to try and get these, especially the level 6. Uh, the level 3 can be a little bit negotiable on a couple other ones, but the level 3 prod up is just really, really good for this team. It'll give them a lot of extra survivability, make it so much more annoying to deal with because there's a lot of recovery. Uh, so, you know, you're going to keep going up and down. Uh, so, you're going to keep getting that prod. Uh, so, it's, it's really nice. And then you got the heal over time as well. Uh, and then the stats you want to get with the Shirut Kron, Probably crit damage. You want him just to keep hitting real hard. Uh, both him and Baze as they ramp up their damage. Uh, and basically, it's the rise of Chase. If anyone's been playing AM this for long enough, you'll know about the Chase team back in the day. Well, it's back, guys. And so you want to get a bit of crit damage here. Tenacity is always good, especially if you're going to put him there. There was Saw having a good amount of tenacity because Afro is your primary counter to this team. And so if you can make it harder for Doubt to land then guys, it actually is going to be quite nice indeed. So try to get uh, crit damage first, I would say, but if you've got a bit of tenacity on there, don't worry about it too much. A bit of deflection is also good because, you know, Africa and the, the droids, they could miss and there could be a key miss and then they, the team all recovers and they get health back and everything like that and they start just hitting you really, really hard and then Afra is a, it's a big mess for Afra to clean up. Uh, if she can even get through. So again, get this Kron. It's part of the top three of the top ten definitely recommend getting it guys now another really really scary one moving on inquisitors the inquisitors uh they're going to be scary they are going to be scary in this 5v5 what you want for them is really you want the doubt 
The doubt is going to make it so hard to deal with them. You can't. It brings. It, it basically rules out Adrad. Adrad cannot deal with the Inquisitors uh, like this. And then you want to multiply that pain and the difficulty of of um, the Inquisitors with the level six 400% offense. So the one that converts defense into offense. You guys want this, these two. Doesn't matter what the level nine is. It doesn't matter. Just get those level that level three and level six, and then look at the stats. Try to work on the stats again. As I said with DTMG, resistance converts to the offense or to the defense, and then to the offense. So guys, work on getting that Datacron, and it is going to help you. Well, it's going to make that team a monster on defense. It really is. It really is. And you can add a bit of crit damage if you had a bit of crit damage on the Datacron. That's also going to serve you well. Deflection as well. Again. Not, not uh, massively going to be a big difference. The resistance when it converts, when you just find out how hard they all just hit for their first time because of that resistance thrown in there, it is, it is a monster. It's going to be a monster to deal with, guys. So, work on that, Kron, definitely. Uh, next one moving on is Iden. Iden, Iden, Iden's kind of coming in and out. I really liked Iden. I put the relics on Iden. Um, she's got a really amazing ship. And the this the whole team is just a really good team. I've I've used the team, uh, Iden. I've I've for a long time. I've loved the Iden team, and I love seeing it getting more 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 use, and that it can't be just easily Wompered anymore. Um, but I also did have fun feeding Iden to Womper as well. I had my share in fun in that too. Um, but I do like seeing Iden do really really well on defense. And what you want for Iden is you want to get the level three doubt. You want to get the four hundred percent offense, and you want to get uh, the level nine shore. It's really, I mean, if you didn't get the shore one, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. It's really getting that level three doubt, and the 400% offense. Those are your two big ticket items you want to get. Shore is probably like the icing on the cake, and then the stats after that again, icing on the cake is resistance. Would be the the best thing to try and go for. But if you got de deflection, crit damage, tenacity. All those sorts of things, guys, they all go in there to help with that. You don't need to worry about the stats too much, but they all do help if you do get them. It's really going to come down to the level 3 doubt and the 400% offense uh, there. Moving on. Now, we've got Lord Vader. Lord Vader, Lord Vader. With the rise of bo Mandalore, Lord Vader on defense is going to be kind of gone. But on offense, you could make some good work out of him and... Getting him a really good Datacron will really help you do some additional work with him and make it a bit efficient and probably just get through uh, where some battles you may have gotten close to time out. Now, Lord Vader can kind of use Doubt or the Max Health Damage one. I'm not always sold on one or the other. Sometimes it's a situational thing. So level three, try and get another Doubt one with another 400% offense one can be useful here but if you got a max health one with the 400% offense you could use it with Lord Vader it's not going to go to waste not at all and you could make it an IPD one if you had it like the the who the Empire leader is it could be Krennic doesn't really matter ideally IPD is the best because you can throw IPD in there with Lord Vader uh, whereas Krennic doesn't really get much use Death Trooper doesn't do that much in there either uh, so Definitely, uh, definitely look at trying to get IPD, uh, especially because he can be a bit annoying on defense too with Lord Vader. Uh, and the stats you want to be looking for is the resistance, again, deflection, crit damage. Uh, those are the kind of stats, again, doesn't really matter. Resistance, like I said before, converts to defense, which helps go with a level six offense. Now again, the, all these other sort of levels don't really actually matter. Level six, even in fact, sorry, doesn't matter. It's only really level three. Level three, either you got the max damage or you got doubt. If you can get 400% offense, that's going to be great and make Lord Vader hit really hard. But it doesn't really matter all that much because he already does hit quite hard. It's just really getting him once he gets ramped up enough and he'll, he'll really smash his way through. So, yeah, that Kron is a good one. Uh, it, it is also going to serve you well elsewhere as well. So definitely work on getting that Lord Vader one. I definitely recommend that one. Another one and the next one. Let's go a bit more of another back to the light side one. Let's go to Adrad. Adrad, Adrad is Adrad is a really amazing team. I get kind of sad or upset whenever I see Adrad on defense. But moving along, level three prod up. You want to get prod up, guys, and you want to get the grand buff, gain ten percent TM. We all know how many buffs Adrad gives out. So, and the rest of that team as well, actually. 
So you want to get that and you'll get yourself a really quite a fast ad rad. It still won't be able to deal with Inquisitors. Uh, I mean, that's kind of like your mileage may vary depending on the, the team you're facing. You might be able to get away with it. And especially the Datacron of that Inquisitor team. But this does supercharge your ad rad team. So you may be able to find some additional uses. I think we'll, we'll wait and see a bit more about this one too. I wouldn't uh, say that this is a be all end all kind of Datacron. But this is definitely one of the top Datacrons if you have the resources to get it. Uh, and get the level 9 Jin. Uh, if you don't get level 9 Jin, that's okay. Those two, the level 3 and the level 6, are still going to do a lot of work with Adrad. If you don't have the Mark 3 Mats to reroll, you can't get another Datacron up. This is the kind of Datacron you can use for Adrad. Uh, but do try to get, obviously, do try to get Jin. That would make it um, amazing. All right, moving on to Pelt Starkiller. Pelt Starkiller, guys. Now, Starkiller. Didn't get used much last few seasons with the the bolt cron, well the the stacking, uh, health and defense and everything like that with the with with Ray, and he was kind of used as a bit of an overkill for other things. So this time we see a bit more return that Palt Star Killer can deal with Ray. You have to watch out for the deflection crons that people are going to have on Ray. Uh, they are going to be very annoying to deal with, which we're going to touch on as a, a shopping ticket item. Uh, but Palt Star Killer can still deal with it uh, with. The, the previous set that we've had, if you make sure you just have yourself a really good accuracy one. But for this set, so you can have used after set 12 has expired, with set 13, you want to look at trying to get a max health damage one, or even doubt, both of them work here. Level 6, again, 400% offense, both. I mean, if you had also, you didn't have that as well, it's not going to make a huge difference. I mean, Star Killer is not about the offense of Mara, Jade, and Palps. Whilst that does help, it's about Star Killer. So, don't worry about that too much. Look at crit damage, potency, deflection as key stats you want to look at. But don't worry about them again too much. Crit damage is probably the best thing. With potency, obviously we do a bit of potency, but you know, Palps gets potency up. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, but moving on, guys. We've still got, uh, we've got SLKR. SLKR is also another... You know, the unit doesn't directly benefit from the Datacron, but a really good Datacron here goes a long way and, and puts him up puts up the Datacron in the top 10. Definitely one worth using. And the great thing about this Datacron they use on SLK, you could you could use it on really a whole bunch of other units, but SLKR being the great GL that he is, and one of my favorite GLs, he deserves a good Datacron. And you can get a good Datacron out of this current set. The level three doubt or max health both work here because he does do debuffs. So you are gonna be doing more damage here with that, with the max health damage as well. Doubt is obviously always good and SLKR is one of those kind of units that has just, with all Datacron sets, you can either use him on offense or defense. He's kind of, kind of keeps going around the place depending on your plans, where you're at in the game. But a good level three doubt with a mixture, of course, what would you imagine? Crit damage, crit damage, uh, deflection, resistance, tenacity. A lot of those things are all pretty nice there for SLKR. But honestly, you just want to get the, the level three doubt or max health and anything else you can throw on there. Even if all you had was a level three doubt, or max health damage and you're going into a battle just take that that's your SLK well I won that's fine obviously going in there with a lot more crit damage will, will be will be very very helpful and you want him just hit really really hard obviously um, alright guys moving along now to the last one number 10 BAM he is especially useful in 5's and 3's I would say his best use is mostly going to be in 3's because BAM is typically going to go with Bo-Katan and the Bo-Katan Mandalore Datacron is far <laughs> superior to the BAM one. However, if you can manage to do it, depending on your plans and what you're doing, and I think we're going to see more of this as the season of season 50 unfolds, BAM could work on his own with, say, Han, Chewie, Dash, L3, Vandor. There's a whole bunch of different teams that could do that, and they would be nice banner sealers because of the way BAM's level 9 is there. You could potentially still get off those whistling birds, drop people's protection, and maybe even kill somebody. Who knows? Who knows? And if you did that, that's going to do some good banner stealing. So that cron is worth it from the flexibility point of view. It is coming in at number ten, just because it's not. I wouldn't say. I, w I put. I, I would say it's good and it's important, and it's going to make a difference for you if you can. If you got all the mats to do that, but don't don't stretch the shelf and don't stress over it. It is a really good cron but mostly the biggest value comes in threes. And that's why it rounds out the top 10 here, um, being there, just because it also has, it brings, its value jump, 
jumps up quite significantly there for threes. So guys, that is my uh, top top 10 there. Uh, one thing I also want to keep going on about is the shopping list item. So that's only 10 data crumbs. You've obviously got a fair few more that you can store in your inventory. What you want to work on after you've got these top 10 is stuff like doubt crumbs and the protection ups. Those you want to get lots of. Basically doubt against all light side. You can use it with trench, you can use it with um, just you know Imperial Troopers. Uh, you could use it with some sort of Vader team. Uh, you could use it with even Jabba if you really wanted to. Like it's, there's a whole bunch of places where you could use Doubt, and same with the max health. So even if all you did was re go to level three, re-roll twice. If you don't get it, then maybe throw that data crown out, try again. You know that's what I've been doing a lot of, and I got lots of. I'm getting lots of level three data crowns as I slowly process them and get through them and farm those mats. So try and get at least four spare, four spare Doubt crowns that you can just use on offense or defense as you need. It's only getting the level three, so it's not that big of a deal, not that hard work. Try and get those, get quite a few prod ups. Prod ups, you know, as you're trying to grind away through some teams, if you get stuck and you're trying to break through a team, you've had some sort of drop, again, prod ups gonna help you deal with some of that, maybe last a little bit longer, just to get one extra tune out or something like that. Definitely encourage you to get some, look at getting some of those prod up and those diacrons. Uh, and try and get a few more of those 400% offense ones if you can. That's just, I'm adding that on right now. It's just a little, you know, a little bit of an add-on. If you can do that, do it. But don't stress about it, guys. Look, this is a great Datacron set. Try and get at least 20 Datacrons of this set, and it will take you far. It honestly will. You've got 10 here that you want to try and get to level 9, and then try to get 10 to 20, you know, just level 3, level 6s. Whatever you can do in the end. But the 10 here... I try the kind of items you want to look at trying to get, and they will make a big difference for you. This fives along with three v three. But that's it for now, guys. I'm going to be looking to get out a, a video on the GAC five v five teams. So stay tuned for that. Look out to it. Come to my Discord server, hang out with me, talk with me, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you like this, please do like and subscribe, and please leave a comment down below. As I said, thank you, guys. We'll catch you for the next one. Have a good one, guys. See you guys.